Welcome back to Science Made Simple. I'm Dr. Boyd, the chemist. Today we're doing our third discussion on the topic of diffusion. Now make sure you check out the other videos to learn more about diffusion. And as always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more fun science videos. For today's experiment, here's what you'll need. You'll need at least two shot glasses, some note cards, two different colors of food coloring. I'm using yellow and blue. You'll also need some hot water and cold water on hand. From our prior videos, we learned that diffusion in fluids occurs when a substance moves from an area of high concentration into an area of low concentration. We also learned that water-based food coloring diffuses slower in cold water than in hot water because the molecules in cold water are less energetic and don't move as much as they do in hot liquids. This means that the molecules in a cold fluid pack closer together than in a hot fluid and that the cold fluid will have a greater density than when the same fluid is hot or warm. From the density tower experiment that we did, you may recall that fluids with lesser density will sit on top of fluids with greater density. But what if the fluid is made of the same molecules, like H2O? Will hot water sit on top of cold water? Or will they just mix together? Let's test it out. Now, today we are once again using hot water, so you wanna make sure to be very cautious while handling it. It is well known that if you mix water that is dyed yellow with water that is dyed blue, you will end up with water that is green. So if we dye the hot water yellow and the cold water blue and place the less dense hot water in the bottom shot glass, we would expect to see the two colors mix to form a green color. To make this work, you will need very steady and careful hands. First, determine which colors your hot and cold water will be. I've chosen to dye my cold water blue and my hot water yellow. Once you have your dyed water in each shot glass, place the note card on top of the shot glass that you will place on top. Carefully flip the shot glass upside down and place it directly on top of the other shot glass with the note card separating the two shot glasses. Now, steadily slide the note card out from between the two shot glasses to allow the fluids from each to touch. As expected, when the less dense hot water is on the bottom, the two fluids freely mix and we get green water. Now, will we still get a green color if the less dense hot water is on top? Amazing, they don't mix when the cold water is on the bottom. Now if you allow these fluids to stay like this, after a few minutes you will see that they do mix and form green water as the temperatures reach in equilibrium. In fact, you can see that there's a thin green layer separating the two fluids now. 